Welcome back, Seattle Super Readers. I'm Superintendent Denise Juno, and I'm so excited to see you again for our Book of the Month Club. I hope you all had a wonderful, relaxing winter break. Were you able to find some time to read? I would love to hear what books you read. I know that some of my favorite times during the break were when I was able to take a few minutes to read and explore new worlds through the books I checked out from my local library. In fact, I loved one so much that I decided I want to share, with, share it with you today. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to a special guest of mine who is joining us virtually for this month's Read Aloud. I want you to meet Dr. Keisha Scarlett, who is our new Chief Academic Officer at Seattle Public Schools. That means that she helps all of our principals and teachers decide what you will learn in your classrooms. Dr. Scarlett will help us continue to provide new and exciting lessons that you'll be learning every day in school. She is very excited to meet you. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Scarlett. Thank you, Superintendent Juno. Hello, everyone. I am so thrilled to be here with you and read today. And thank you all for having me. Once we're able to be together, I really look forward to visiting your schools and meeting you all in person. Now, reading has always been a passion of mine and I'm always looking for really good book recommendations. In fact, I heard that we're going to read a really great book this month. What are we going to read today, Superintendent Juno? This month's book is Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. Just like the new year, this book highlights the excitement of new beginnings and experiences. It also discusses how to deal with fear and what it means to be brave. Are you ready to get started? Let's get reading, Seattle Super Readers. Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. Jabari Jumps. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test and now he was ready to jump. How many of you have done swimming lessons and uh, finished diving and doing that kind of stuff in the pool? I know that all of us are super excited and waiting for summertime where we can get back in the pool. Um, I'm an okay swimmer, I'm not great. But Jabari finished his, his lessons. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. They stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, down, down. Splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. So what do you think Jabari is feeling right now? He said it looks easy. Do you think it really looks easy to him? Or do you think that he might be a little more afraid than he thought? Let's see. I'm looking at the kids in the pool. They look like they're having a lot of fun. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder and he looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought, and you can see that he was waiting for all the kids to go before him, but really it might be because he was feeling a little bit scared and a little bit intimidated and wanted to wait a little bit and see if others pulled it off. So finally, Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. So why do you think Jabari's dad told him maybe to climb down and take a little rest? What are some thoughts you have about that? I'm thinking that Maybe his dad knows that he's a little bit more afraid than what he thinks he is and just might need to think about a little bit this big dive that he's going to make. 
but we'll see. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. Stretching is important. I'm thinking about that because I do cycling and when I don't stretch after, sometimes my muscles hurt. So it is important to stretch probably for the best type of exercise or diving he's gonna do. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. So do you see him sitting on his dad's shoulders, looking up at the diving board? What do you think he's thinking right now about maybe leaving today and coming back tomorrow? It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and I tell myself, I'm ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little bit like a surprise. Wow, that makes me think about my own self when I'm gonna do something that makes me feel a little scared and how helpful it is for me to take deep breaths. Sometimes I just breathe deeply and just say, you can do it, Keisha. So what do you tell yourself when you're afraid? Do you take deep breaths? Do you have special words that you say to yourself? I'd be curious to hear about those things. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Have you ever taken such a deep breath that it just fills you up and makes you a little bit calmer? Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. And we have to end here now, Seattle Super Readers but you need to check this book out and um, find out what happens to Jabari. Does he make it to the end? Does he actually make the jump? So Seattle Super Readers, we have another reading mission for you. We want you to finish this book on your own and think about what new experiences you're hoping to have this year. You can find this book and other great books that we'll be sharing with you at your school library, local library, or even online through Seattle Public Library's library link, which can be accessed using your student ID. Until next time, keep on reading, super readers. If you enjoyed Jabari Jumps, check out these other great book recommendations. For elementary school readers, You Are a Beautiful Beginning by Nina Layden. Thank you, Poems of Gratitude, edited by Miranda Paul. Gracias Thanks by Pat Mora. The Cow Who Climbed a Tree by Gemma Marino. New Kid by Jerry Craft. And for you more advanced readers, Bruised by Sarah Skilton. Some Places More Than Others by Renee Watson. When the Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Muhammad. Up to This Point by Jennifer Longo. Your school librarian can help you find these books at your school library or at curbside pickup. Seattle Public School students can access the entire Seattle Public Library book catalog online. Visit spl.org forward slash library link to learn more.